Xiaomi pulled off a Samsung when it came to naming their flagship device for its 8th anniversary. 8 is considered to be a lucky and prominent number in Chinese tradition and that's why they skipped the number 7 and directly launched the Mi 8 as a successor to the Mi 6. This is Sandeep from Rev Atlas and here are our first impressions of the Mi 8. The Mi 8 like all its predecessors aims to be one of the most affordable flagship options on the market. Prior to OnePlus devices, getting an affordable flagship meant most often getting a Mi flagship and the Mi 8 is no different. It's available in three different variants, all with 6 gigs of RAM and either 64, 128 or 256 GB storage options. We have the 6 plus 256 GB variant here and there's a high-end special version called Explorer Edition with 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, a transparent back panel and an in-display fingerprint scanner. On this model however, you get a rare mounted fingerprint scanner that's quite snappy as well. The Mi 8 is definitely a looker, although it may be strikingly similar to their other offerings, especially when it comes to the placement of the cameras at the back, it still looks and feels great. The solid build gives a premium feeling and the curved back handles well. It's a bit slippery, so a case will probably feel at home on the Mi 8's back. Despite having a screen that's practically as big as the S9 Plus, the phone is much more compact in terms of height, thickness and even weighs lesser, but is a tad bit wider. Despite being almost an entire millimeter thinner than the S9 Plus, Xiaomi has somehow managed to cram a 3400mAh battery into the phone which seems to give good results in our usage so far. It also supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 4.0 Plus as well so you can top the battery up in no time. The display is a 6.21 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED unit with 18.7 is to 9 aspect ratio and is one of the best we have seen on a Xiaomi device. The contrast ratio is on point and sunlight legibility is excellent. The colors look great and so is the sharpness. There's a notch and quite a wide one at that. But there's a reason for that. It has a 3D IR face scanner which is similar to what you find on the iPhone X. So even if there's a notch that you probably don't like, at least there's a reason why it's there and why it's occupying so much room. The phone runs on Android 8.1 Oreo with MIUI 9.5 on top of it. Performance has been extremely fluid and stable so far thanks to the Snapdragon 845 chipset from Qualcomm. It also has dual nanoSIM card support but no scope for memory expansion. One of the standout features and possibly one of the first in the smartphone world is the dual GPS which is said to be faster as well as more stable and accurate compared to the regular GPS modules fitted on smartphones. The camera setup is one with a 12 megapixel Sony MX363 1x2.6 in sensor, f1.8 aperture, 4 axis optical image stabilization and 1.4 micron pixel size while the secondary camera offers 2x optical zoom as well as f2.4 aperture and 1 micron pixel size. There's a USB Type-C port at the bottom and yes, the 3.5mm audio jack is gone but there's an adapter in the box. Not quite expected is the departure of the IR blaster which is normally one of my favourite features on Xiaomi phones. The Mi 8 is currently available in China at roughly Rs 28.5k for the 64GB version and Rs 34.5 for the 256GB version. Quite good value for money it seems like but we'll give our final verdict in our review. Stay tuned for more content on the phone, thanks for watching, see you again in the next one.